Okay, my next fight. Going up against QS Frenzy. And he has a really good Elena. And this time he looks like he's taking Guy, so um, that'll be interesting. I, I haven't seen his Guy yet. And uh, this is the first time we've actually fought. I've seen him on the replay channel just bodying the crap out of people with his Elena. And as you can see, he's got a very healthy amount of player points. Let's see how he goes up against my Hugo. And already, I just want to clap somebody. Nope, misses the slide. Nice elbow drop. Yeah, anybody who knows how to use Guy is sure to abuse the elbow drop. It has like a billion active frames. Nope, get body splashed. Get helicopter punched. Get choked. I'm trying to keep him out of the air a little bit so he doesn't get too comfortable and start overdosing on elbow drop. Because that's how guys are. They get real comfortable and they start biting you with like two or three combos. And I shut that down really quick. So th that's the key with guy. You don't want him getting comfortable floating everywhere and jumping every, jumping up and down everywhere with the elbow drop. Just keep his ass grounded. Make sure you don't get uh, tripped up too much. Try to bait him into doing a helicopter kick. Got me there. Up. Oh, did a little exchange. Went for another frog splash. Didn't work. Now he's taking advantage. And slowly but surely, his guy's getting a little bit more comfortable. And he tried a little setup there, but I smartly escaped. And now he's just jumping up and down. It's very hard for me to grapple and get a grab going. I don't want to SPD and miss and get punished. And again, neutral jumps. Very annoying. And finishes the round. So he gets really smart. Goes with a different tactic. Um, just goes with a bunch of neutral jumps. So on to the final round. Nice. That was a nice move right there. Drop this combo. I didn't mean to jump over. I should have tripped him or something. And again with the annoying neutral jumps. But got punished. He kept neutral jumping. So I'm like, you know what? No need to combo into it. Might as well just catch him in a raw ultra. And again, working me in the corner. I'm surprised he didn't go for the, the overhead leg drop. But he doesn't need it. Went for a combo but dropped it again. Probably because he uses Elena more than he uses a uh, guy. But he went for a sweep in the end and got it anyway. So nice win for guy. So the neutral jumps are just a little bit too much for me right now. I still have to learn that matchup. But uh, that was a good experience for me. And it, it definitely worked to his benefit. And here we go again. So, uh, you know, that's another reason I'm using Hugo a lot because the more you repeat the same matchups, even though some of the players you go against might be skilled differently, obviously the more you're going to learn the matchup and the more you're going to see what works against what, what counters against what, and things like that, what you should do, what you shouldn't do, and that'll just make me better as a player. So I really don't mind some of the losses. As long as I don't get completely bodied, you know, it's it's definitely a learning experience. And like I said, uh, unlike before in the past when I would rank up and all I cared about was points, now it's just it's just for fun and, and the discovery of uh, learning new characters. That's all it is, really. It's just fun for me, and, uh, you know, I just like doing it. He backdashed. He knew I was going to go for a grab. That was smart. And elbow drop, trying to link a uh, crouch combo. Missed it the first time, but catches me in the second one. Misses his shoulder pop. If he would have went EX, he almost certainly would have gotten it. Not sure what the hesitation was, but not going to hesitate there. Catch him in the clap combo into the Ultra 2. Get body. Wasting no time there. And guy just got crushed. Went for a shorter combo for a sweep there. Not bad. Uh, Try to finish with a me squasher. Not going to happen. So my greediness almost cost me, but I still get the round anyway. And round two, here we go. Nice way to start the round with a focus. Very smart. And here we go again, abusing the neutral jump. 
and going for the feet. That's what you do because you go so goddamn big. SPD, he got too comfortable, and finally I get to land a clean one, but I jump and get punished with EX helicopter kick right after, and those are the ones obviously I'm trying to avoid. And it seems like as soon as I jump, he catches me instantly, and I catch him with another wall throw into the Ultra 2 combo. So at least I'm getting that. My execution has gotten a little bit better. I'm trying to focus more on that, I'm trying to fight more cleanly. Um, still difficult matchup for me. I really don't like fighting guy at all. Uh, with Vega, I don't mind it, but with other fighters, obviously it's trouble. And I'm like one SPD away from trying to steal this fight, and he knows it. And a nice anti-air, so it looks like a standing high kick. Um, will finish it. So this guy definitely knows his anti-airs. He's real comfortable. Nice way to start off the round with a run and slide. Catching me with a baseball slide. And finally, I, I finally get to land a jump attack that doesn't get punished. And he matched out a second helicopter kick because he missed the first one. So this guy's a little bit aggressive. Got him in a backbreaker jumping. And that's one thing I'm, I'm noticing about uh, QS Frenzy's guy. He's not afraid to do EX helicopter kick. So I will definitely remember this footage and... Uh, just try to prepare myself better. Oh, thought he was going to neutral jump again. That's why I went for the ultra. That way when I fight him in the future, uh, I could just use this as a tool to help me. And nice way to smart. Uh, nice way to jump back. That's real smart. Um, some people just stand there and get meat squashed. They get afraid or it's too fast for them. But That's pretty good. This guy's pretty good. You know, um, you know when you see people on the replay channel and you see their mains a lot, you think that that's the only character they know how to use and then they come to your lobby and then they surprise you with somebody else so um, that's not bad the more people that I fight that know how to use different characters the merrier and right now I'm not sure why he's uh, not fighting me so I'm checking my uh, my messages just thinking maybe he's sending me a message or something but he hasn't so I'm just waiting on him there he is And again, taking Hugo. Not sure what's the hold up. There she is. And finally, he takes Elena. So, uh, I'm excited to say the least. Um, you know, this is the first time I'm going up against his Elena. And as you can see, he's got a nice amount of points there. And let's see if I could maintain this fight I don't expect to win but I expect to at least maintain and and give her what I got caught her jumping got her in the helicopter swing into the SPD get close get body that's my rule trips her up on wake frog splash into the lariat and he was smart enough to block that grab and he's like you know what I got combos on my own bitch take that five hits four hits so, up, oh, finally faked her out, got her in the EX Meat Squasher, and that thing does heavy damage. That move will send anybody to the hospital. So, she gets bodied in that first round. And I smartly just let go of my focus. I didn't want to get caught in a combo. Helicopter swing, get caught. And the EX Jet Wheel saves Elena from massive, massive damage. Nice overhead into the combo. Very good. Now he's showing some tricky stuff. Nice way to anti-air me back into the corner. This is the Elena that I was talking about. And that first round was just... Uh, probably just for him to get a feel of how I play. Against his character. And now it's like all bets are off. Every time I jump he's going for anti-air. So it's very difficult to get in. And he is playing it very patiently. Very impressive stuff. And unlike his guy, his Elena does not drop nearly as many combos. Which uh, makes it all the more difficult a matchup for me. And you can see a lot of back and forth. He doesn't want to get hit easily. Very smart. Very patient Elena. 
Tries to anti-air but misses. And again, I'm trying to, this is the last round, so I don't want to be jumping in too much. I want her to come to me. But it comes at a price, gets neutral jump, I try to SPD, and I got max punish there. Wow, 14 hits. And very angry EX me squash in the corner. So now I'm trying to turn the tides a little bit. I wanted that wall throw so bad, I was going to ultra her. But it wasn't meant to be. And very smartly, Elena heals. Just choke her out right there. I should have threw her, but I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough time for the wall throw. Went for it there. Missed it. Got poked. She says, nope. Got to respect my anti-airs. And now he's just on cruise control right now. And tries to chip with the jet wheel. Doesn't happen. And finally, an another anti-air catches me. So. And then he uh, leaves the session. Hope to see him again.